New at six, we've discovered a provocative new study that's worrying parents. Researchers say teenagers who text a lot are more likely to have had sex, drank alcohol, or used drugs. Eyewitness News reporter Alex DePrado spoke to a local expert on the topic. He joins us now live from the mobile newsroom. Well, Karen, the study says teens that text 120 times a day or more receive more peer pressure, and that in turn sometimes forces them into risky behavior. Teens today seem to do more texting than talking on their cell phones. When I get home, I text constantly until I go to bed. And teens who text more than 120 times a day, according to a study at Case Western Reserve University, are more likely to have had more than four sexual partners, drink, or do drugs. It may in fact be peer pressure and that the kids who are most involved in those behaviors are the ones who uh, are then receiving a relatively constant stream of peer pressure. The study was based on a survey of 4,200 teens in Cleveland and finds that hypertexting is most common among teens whose parents have less education or come from a one-parent household. Kathy Sullivan is the coordinator of the Barrington Substance Abuse Task Force. It's about parental monitoring, and if, if parents aren't monitoring the level and volume of texting, then perhaps they're not monitoring the other risky behaviors. And as you might imagine, some teens believe the research, and of course, there are those who don't. Not necessarily. It depends who you are. If you, like, talk to people that much, you get to know them better, and then things happen. So, yeah, I guess it's true. And the study goes on to say girls and minorities are the most vulnerable to hypertexting. We're live in East Providence tonight with the Providence Mobile Newsroom. I'm Alex DePrado, Eyewitness News.